Hey, Foydy Me J here. Welcome back to the channel. I'm glad to be back. As most of you know, I was on a break as I had a family member coming over to visit and we were out in family days out and stuff. On top of that, I have my job and I'm also learning to drive and learn guitar. So I have a lot on my plate right now, but don't worry, I'll be trying to put out content as much as possible and I've still been streaming. But I took a break from videos just because life got so busy. I'm sure everybody here understands that that can happen. But I can't wait to get back into the way of things. I've got a really interesting video coming up. We're going to be looking at 15 insane details within Red Dead Redemption 2. But before we do, please hit the like button. Consider subscribing if you're new. And let's get into it. To start off today, the detail when your clothes get wet. You can see the shine there on Arthur's vest. Really detailed and it looks really realistic when I do a 360. You can see the shine of the rain there on his vest. I think that's really cool that they made that so realistic. You can see that just when I go back and forth. And you can see his clothes look like they're sticking to his skin. Even the back of his head soaking looks really realistic to me. That's one of the first details that I'm going to point out today. Queasy feeling you've been having? Think that's cause there's so many O'Driscolls about. I've only gotta click my fingers and this town will string you up and call it justice. You want me to set you straight, huh? Chance Encounters, another insane detail. I don't think I even remember getting that Chance Encounter before. So there you go, something new every time you come into this game, that's what I love about it. We don't tolerate shit like you around here. Make yourself scarce. If you have lower honor, the NPCs will get aggressive as you can see here. And they will also comment on your cleanliness which I just shown a couple of minutes ago. You can come across loads of drunken NPCs, just like this guy right here. A real man knows how to hold his drink. Don't look like you could hold your own peck. <laughs> Arthur's a savage. Just go home. <laughs> Another amazing detail. Hello. Blood stains and clothes. You can see this is dried in blood. If I kill this guy and lift him up. Drop him. Now you can see the blood is much brighter compared to that dried in blood. Another really insane detail here from Rockstar. Now we're going to look at amputation in the game when you use really high powered guns like shotguns. The blood is literally squirting out of him. Jeez. That's crazy. I wonder if we shoot his arm when he's dead. What happens? Okay, they don't come off, but you can see the blood splatter. Another amazing detail there, like it's really realistic. Really gory, if you're squeamish, you're not going to like this. And it bleeds more around the stomach, which would make more sense. Amputated his leg. They scream out in pain. Let's try this dude's arm. Show me some damn respect. If I can catch him. Forget about him, actually. There. Very disturbing, I have to say. Um, I want to show something else. The blood pour. 
when you use certain guns. Let me switch it up. Get to Springfield. Let's just try that. Well, it's not really working. I guess it really just depends. Maybe I'm not using the right gun. But yes, there, it's working now. What? Oh, no way. Whoa, that's horrible. He's bleeding out. Still not dead. I died before him. Whoa. Something that can be easily missed is you can holster your weapon in style by double tapping LB or L1. Arthur has his own signature move here. I know online we've got the spinning tricks with the bounty hunter roll. This is kind of similar to that, but Arthur seems to have his own wee way of doing it, which I find so cool. Before we move on to the next detail, I just want to give a massive shout out to all the members on the channel. You can join up to be a member of the Void Space from as little as $1.99. You get different perks like custom emojis, members only videos and live streams, things like that. I would love for you to be a member. And once again, I really do appreciate everybody's support. It does mean the world to me. So thanks again. Can't thank you enough. Now let's get into this next detail. Not now, Arthur. And before you ask me, no more favors for now. Oh, fabulous. The charmer's here. I know I'm here to do everyone's dirty work. What are you trying to prove? But your problems ain't always mine. No point in bothering with you when you're like this. There she is, the camp shire horse. I don't like that tone, Arthur. Who everybody hates. Why are you being like this? And dreams are killing. Oh, I'm too busy for this nonsense. There he is, camp pig. Hey, come on. No wonder we're always short of food. What's with you, huh? That's you enough, it Arthur. All. I'm not dealing with this crap. I should have broken your neck long ago. Why do you keep picking on me? You revolting old b- You hearing me? Someone That's enough! Me? As you can see there, the camp grows tired of Arthur antagonizing them. And you'll get knocked out by either Lanny, Bill, Dutch. Yeah, I think Arthur maybe did deserve a, a punch to the face there. I agree with Lanny, I agree. The gravestones are so detailed. They have the full name on it, they have an inscription, the date they were born and died. Even in Tumbleweed you can find Herbert Moon's brother's grave. I've shown that off in a previous video. I'll link it down below in case you're interested. I've got loads of different graves here. You can find unmarked ones in the game, but they're, they're usually in the middle of nowhere. There's graves that, um, you know, have Easter eggs on them. Very, very detailed. You can see they've also been weather beaten too. But yeah, I'd love to make a part two. There's too many details just to put it into this one video. So let me know if you have enjoyed this video in the comment section down below. Standing behind a strange horse will get Arthur booted in the face. Well, that's it for the video today, guys. Really hope you did enjoy. I really enjoyed making it. Let me know if you would like a part two. And watch out, we're going to have a live stream later on. It's going to be the first ever equestrian show on Xbox. So put on your notification bells so you don't miss that. And yeah, thanks again for watching. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you all in the void.